John Maynard, by Horatio Alger. Chores on Lake Erie's broad expanse one bright midsummer day, the gallant steamer Ocean Queen stood proudly on her way. Bright faces clustered on the deck, or leaning over the side, watched carelessly the fevery foam that flecked the rippling tide. Ah, who beneath the cloud the sky with smiling bent serene, could dream that danger awful or vast impended over the scene, could dream that ere an hour had sped, mid frame of sturdy oak would sink beneath the lake's blue waves, blackened the fire and smoke? A seaman sought the captain's sight, a moment whispered low. The captain's swarthy face grew pale, he hurried down below. Alas, too late, for quick and sharp and clear as orders came, the human efforts could avail to quench the insidious flame. The bad news quickly reached the deck, it sped from lip to lip. Ghastly faces everywhere looked from the doomed ship. Is there no hope, no chance of life? A hundred lips implore. But one, the captain made reply, to run the ship on shore. A sailor whose heroic soul that hour should yet reveal, by name John Maynard, eastern-born, stood calmly at the wheel. Head to south-east, the captain shouts, both a smothered roar. Head to south-east without delay, make for the nearest shore. The terror pales the helmsman's cheek, or clouds his dauntless eye, as in a sailor's measured tan his voice responded, Ay, ay. Three hundred souls the steamer's freight crowd forward wild with fear, while at the stern dread flames above the deck appear. John Maynard watched the nearing flames, but still with steady hand he grasped the wheel, and steadfastly he stirred the ship to land. John Maynard, can you still hold on? he heard the captain cry. A voice smote the stifling smoke, faintly response, Ay, ay. But half a mile, a hundred hands stretched eagerly to shore. But half a mile, the distance sped, peril shall all be o'er. But half a mile, yet stay the flames no longer slowly creep, but gave around that headsman bowed the fierce impetuous sweep. John Maynard, with an anxious voice, the captain cries once more, Stand by the wheel five minutes yet, and we shall reach the shore. For flame and smoke, the dauntless heart responded firmly still, and awed, for face to face with death, with God's good help I will. The flames approach with giant strides, with scorchous hand and brow. One arm, disabled, seeks his sight. Ah, he is conquered now. But now his teeth are firmly set, he crushes down his pain. His knee upon the stench and pressed, he guides the ship again. One moment yet, one moment yet. Brave heart, a task is ours. The people's great benefit key. The steamer touches shore. Three hundred grateful voices rise, and praise to God which he have saved them from the fearful fire and from the engulping sea. But where is he? The helmsman bowed. The captain saw him rear. As nerveless hands released that task, he sank beside the wheel. The way received his lifeless corpse, blackened with smoke and fire. God rest him. Never hero had a nobler funeral pyre. 